Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Ghost Paper. And for today's video, I actually want to talk about hand gestures. And I actually want to go through all of the possible hand gestures that exist here on Procreate, whether if you're just a beginner trying to learn Procreate or if you're an intermediate or even an advanced user who may have just missed a thing or two when it comes to hand gestures. Also, if you stick around until the end of this video, I'm going to do a quiz just to make sure that you've learned and you're not forgetting any of this content from this lesson. So let's get started. So for this lesson, I'm actually going to rest my pencil onto the uh, top of my iPad here, and we're going to only use hand gestures and fingers. So the very first hand gesture here that we can do on Procreate is to paint. So having the brush selected, you can definitely paint on Procreate using your finger. So we could, for example, create a few more dots of water ripples here on this illustration. Now, with a two finger tap, you can undo any action that you do here on the canvas. In case you want to recreate that action, in case you wanna go back to your undo, a three finger tap will redo any of your actions on the canvas. Now, using two fingers, you can pinch and rotate your canvas in order for you to continue painting. Some people actually prefer to rotate their canvas in order to draw more specific and detailed lines on their illustration. A pinch snap actually resizes your canvas to the size of your iPad. You can either go in a vertical manner or if I rotate and I just pinch uh, the same way, it will fit to the horizontal uh, section of my iPad right here. Because this is a vertical illustration, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. The next one is the three finger scrub. With the three finger scrub, you actually clear the contents of your layer. So make sure that you are in the uh, layer that you want to clear so that this action works with the correct layer. In this case here, I just cleared the layer that I had all of my paint ripples. Next, we have the three finger swipe. With the three finger swipe, you actually evoke the cut and copy uh, options here on Procreate. For example, I can copy and paste, and now I have a duplicate of that element so, I so that I can place it anywhere that I want on my canvas, resize it, and also rotate to uh, anywhere I want on my canvas as well. A four finger tap on the screen goes into full screen mode. And that's really cool if you really wanna see all of your illustration, especially if you get towards the end and you just wanna see all of the illustration without the UI. You can then tap with four fingers on the screen once again to bring back the UI. Now, speaking of drawing, as we were just talking about that at the beginning of this video, you can also draw quick shapes with your finger. For example, let's just choose a different color here, in this case, this yellow color and I'm just gonna draw what looks like a circle and I'm just gonna hold my finger onto the canvas so that I can control the size of the circle. I can also use another finger on the screen and if I hold it, now it is a perfect circle. I can still click on edit shape and move my shape and even um, you know, click on the bezier points if I want it to deform, but I do want a perfect circle and now I'm just gonna tap on a color and drag it onto the shape to create the sun in this illustration. Procreate also allows us to have more control when choosing the size of our brush. For example, here, as we know, we have the slider that controls the size of our brush. Right now, by choosing this size, uh, which is about 60%, uh, I'm getting brushes which are about this size here on the canvas. However, if I wanna be a little bit more detailed, I can just drag this to the left of my canvas here. In this case, I have my UI to the right side of my screen. If I was right-handed, I would then have these controls on the left side, but just make sure that you drive into your canvas. And now by moving your finger up and down, you see that the controls are way more precise. So you're basically turning on precision here when you're moving the dial as if you want a little bit more or a little bit or just a little bit less on the size of your brush. The same can be done to the opacity of your brush. The more that you go inside the canvas, the more precision you get here on this style. 
Now in terms of layer and layer control, if, you go, if I go here onto the layers panel, I can pinch layers by just selecting the top layer or the layer that we want to start the merge and the bottom one and just pinch so that everything becomes one single layer. Because I had blending mode selected here, that's why the illustration actually changed a bit. But if we just undo this and go a little further, now we actually got a better result because I've actually merged past a few of the blend modes that I had in this illustration. So I'm just going to undo that because I definitely don't want to merge at this point. And a really simple gesture is to tap to select any layer as your primary layer. And by primary layer, it means that any actions as painting, smudging, or erasing will be affecting only this layer. You can do a select multiple layers by just sliding the layers to the right. A two finger tap on any layer brings the opacity slider for that layer. In this case here, we're adjusting the opacity of the sun. Now, a two finger swipe right enables the alpha lock option on any layer. And what that gives us is the ability to choosing a certain brush, you can paint, for example, highlights in the sun. And finally, as a bonus tip, a two finger hold on any layer creates a selection on that layer. So for example, now I can create a new layer click on this layer and select fill and it fills this layer with any color that I want so that I could further create uh, some highlights on this layer. For example, if I just use now the erase tool, something like this. And if I now set this uh, blend mode, to add, for example. Finally, you can check your list of active gesture controls by going into the Actions menu, going to Preferences, and select Gesture Controls. There is a long list here of gesture controls that you can activate, but just make sure to use a single activation method for each gesture controls. Gesture controls does not allow same activation methods for two different features. For example, touch and hold for me activates my quick menu. So touch and hold wouldn't be able to also activate another feature. You can turn on and off the method that you want to activate by just clicking on these sliders right here. Once you get uh, two activation methods on two separate tools, you will see that little pop-up that little uh, yellow icon right there, that's the one that actually indicates that you're using two separate tools with the same activation method. What happens when you tap and hold with two fingers on a selected single layer? And the right answer is you select that layer's contents. What is the correct gesture control for enabling alpha lock from the layers panel? And the correct answer is swiping right with two fingers. What is the correct way to create quick shapes in Procreate? right answer is to draw a similar shape to the one you want and hold it until Procreate transforms it into a quick shape. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like it would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any tips and tricks, reviews and speed paint videos and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now make sure to click on the video that is on the right side of the screen right here so that you can keep learning, procreate and keep advancing on your skills on this amazing application. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.